So it, one of the differences of, of starting a bootstrap company versus a venture company is that our goal was to keep the team as small as possible and keep costs absolutely minimal. And so we, our space is very small and very tight um, and we had to deal with a lot of uh, interesting issues like power. Uh, the space that we, uh, we rented is a residential space that pro uh, didn't provide for power for 30 different computers and all of the associated infrastructure of running a startup. So we had to bring additional power in. Um, it also meant setting up cubes in living rooms and really trying to figure out how do you squeeze people in in the most efficient way possible. So it's a somewhat different culture where you really need to be focused on how do you make things work within the constraints and the limits of the current team, the current budget, and keeping the company profitable as you do it. Backblaze is an online backup service, so we make sure that all of the data on your laptop or desktop is completely safe by backing it up off-site over the internet for just five bucks a month with unlimited storage. If anything ever happens to your laptop or desktop, you can get all of your data back either by downloading it from our website or by ordering a simple USB drive to get delivered to you with all of your data FedExed overnight. So one of the things that we realized early on was that if we were gonna provide this service which backed up all of your data, for just five bucks a month, we had to be able to have uh, to build a very, very inexpensive backend infrastructure. And what we originally looked at was using Amazon S3, which is a great service for online storage if online storage is not your core business. Um, otherwise, it becomes very expensive and we couldn't make the numbers work. So we started looking into different options. So we ended up building these Backblaze storage pods. One of these storage pods costs about eight grand to build and stores uh, 67 terabytes worth of data. So just for comparison, on the wall we have an old drive out of a HP system from, uh, from 1983 that stores one megabyte. So this stores something on the order of 60 million times more data um, for probably about the same price. By building these very inexpensive storage pods, we're able to maintain our costs low on the back end and therefore pass on this very inexpensive service for backing up unlimited amounts of data for just five bucks a month. Everything in this storage pod is basically commodity components. So I'll go ahead and open the back side as well here. The drives are commodity, power supplies are commodity, the motherboard is commodity, the fans are commodity. Everything is basically commodity components with the exception of the case itself, this Backblaze storage pod case, which we designed specifically to support the layout of this. The entire Backblaze storage pod costs less than eight grand and continues to go down in price as the prices of drives go down. And so it just stores a tremendous amount of information at a very low cost, somewhere between 10 and 30 times less expensive than what we could find available on the market. So we published a blog post uh, at the beginning of September that describes in detail the storage pods. It talks about, it actually gives away the, the design if you want to build your own. When we published the blog post, there were about a half a million people that read the blog post that talked about these. We had about a hundred companies contact us asking to buy them. We've had people build them. The vendors that we bought some of these parts from contacted us saying we've been flooded with requests for parts. Uh, it really struck us as it just a, a, an amazing amount of interest into um, large storage. By effectively open sourcing the hardware, we're hoping that there'll be lots of continued innovation in low cost storage. We think that by having the design out there, more innovation will come on cheap storage, which we will benefit directly from, and hopefully lots of other people in lots of different spaces will benefit from as well. 
So let's say you're ready to start backing up your data online. Here's how simple it is with Backblaze. You simply visit backblaze.com, click the Start Backing Up button, which supports Windows and Mac. It downloads just a tiny little file onto your computer. It's less than two megabytes, so it happens very quickly. Once it does that, it brings up the installer itself. You enter an email address and a password. And then I hit Install Now, and I'm done. There's nothing else that I need to do for the system to back up all of my data. It goes through and scans everything on my computer, finds all of my photos, my music, my movies, my documents, and everything else, selects it to be uploaded, and then tells me the status of it. So I can see what is selected for backup. I can see how many files are remaining. And it will just continually, constantly be backing up. So we, uh, we talk a lot about cloud computing and cloud storage. So for a regular person, this is basically the cloud. Uh, it's these boxes plus a ton of software on top of it that enables you to just dynamically upload data um, over the internet without worrying about where it's going or how it's being stored. As far as the end user is concerned, it's just going to the cloud. As far as we're concerned, we're putting into place all the infrastructure to support that, which is a whole ton of storage pods and a lot of software that manages all of the data that goes onto them. Here then, we've only built out these first few cabinets because we do it all on demand. So as customers show up, we build more cloud storage. And we've secured a ton of space here so that we can build out for petabytes and petabytes and petabytes of more storage so that we can continue to provide the unlimited online backup service for all of our customers. In this space, it's a little hard to tell, but we can put another 70 cabinets in this space. Um, each of the 70 cabinets with today's model can store about uh, half a petabyte worth of data, close to between a half a petabyte and a full petabyte of data. Uh, and as we move from the 1.5 to the 2 uh, terabyte drives, um, we'll be able to put even more uh, into each cabinet. So um, it'll, it'll give us a little bit of room for growth. So one of the things that we hear once in a while is, isn't everything going to move to the cloud and I won't have anything on my local desktop? And we see some of that, uh, certainly with Google Docs and Gmail and Netflooks and the iPhone. You, there, it's more possible to store more data just in the cloud and not locally. Backboys really provides the service for your local computer because today the majority of your data is still on your laptop or desktop. We believe that for the foreseeable future, you're still going to have data locally. Uh, the uh, speed at which computing raw horsepower is increasing and the speed at which the storage volumes are grown has been faster than the speed at which bandwidth connections are, are growing. You're still going to want to have some of that data local to work with, to interact with, and then you'll have some of it in the cloud that is uh, smaller or, or doesn't need as much direct interaction. So we absolutely see more uh, uh, data and more computing happening in the cloud. We also see more data and more computing happening locally. And we're trying to help protect all of that data that you still have locally and probably will for the foreseeable future.